had seven days in Canada, and we can't wait to come back and explore more one day. But after experiencing the peaceful countryside of Ontario and immersing ourselves in the majestic beauty of the one and only Niagara Falls, it's time to head back to the USA. But we've got a big day ahead of us because we've heard this border crossing can get a little spicy. I'm already nervous, already nervous. I, so many people said that they had terrible experiences with the US Border Patrol. So I think I might strategically place them somewhere where they're slightly out of sight. Oh, 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 oh no! Here, we, Here go. we go. Let's hope we don't hit. So many cameras. You're gonna see my plan. So we're planning on crossing back into the U.S. at the Peace Bridge Crossing. When we cross the border to come into Canada, we got a bunch of comments of people saying that it is a lot worse going back into the U.S., that the U.S. border crossing guards are not so fun to deal with a lot of times. So we're going to see how that goes today. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Also, I would just like to point out that I got dressed first this morning and I am wearing this green shirt and you just got out of the shower. I got dressed first and he got copied me. Nope. He copied me. The thing I'm most worried about are my plants because even though these plants came from the U.S., there are rules about not bringing soil from Canada into the U.S. And this isn't Canadian soil, but I am going from Canada to the U.S. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to prove that the soil came from the U.S. And I really don't want them to give me a hard time about my plants. So I think I might strategically place them somewhere where they're slightly out of sight. In terms of food, the rules are a little different going back to the U.S. You cannot have any fresh produce or meat. So unfortunately, I've got, well, they're kind of wrinkly. I've got a couple of bell peppers that I'm going to have to toss before we cross the border today. So we got to start packing up now because I think the KOA is pretty straight. We got to be out of here by 11 a.m. And we have a lot of extra stuff we have to do because we're going to no hookups, which means all our boondocking stuff has to be done, like water. There are several things we pretty much always do anytime we're going from a full hookup campground to boondocking with no hookups. And it pretty much all does have to do with water. Of course, we empty our tanks before we go, but we also fill up our fresh water tank and then we fill up any containers that we have, like the uh, our, our drinking water jug or the dog's water bowl. We also take showers and like good showers where you like wash your hair and everything, do all of the dishes. We normally do the dishes anyways, but make sure there's no stragglers because you want a completely fresh, clean, slate don't want to use any extra water if you don't have to when you're boondocking and then we flush our black tank so that it is nice and clean while we have the extra water again and then we put happy campers tank treatment in there i use it when we're boondocking and not when we're boondocking but i don't always when we're on full hookups use it in between each flush but i always put it in right before we go boondocking because we just we use less water when we flush when we're boondocking okay this is what i have decided on for the plants location when you're standing at the door you can't really see them if asked i'm not gonna lie but i just figure if i put them out of sight they might be out of mind and they might not ask because this time crossing the border we're going to try to only answer the questions asked of us and not provide extra information like that we just came from mexico flashback no nah, we just came from mexico so everything's in storage end of flashback right here we got three minutes to get hitched up and go so we got to get out of here Time to bring the slides in. See what I mean about the plants being out of sight, out of mind? I think, I think this is gonna go well. Fingers crossed. There we go. Ready Almost go. ready, almost ready. Oh, chunks. Never. Get, get back. What are you doing? He's always just trying to be up here with us. He's crazy. All right. You ready? Do you reckon these people are going to skedaddle out the way? Hopefully so. Skedaddle. So we only have an hour on the road today and we're less than half an hour to the border. So everything should be pretty quick. I'm already nervous, already nervous. I, so many people said that they had terrible experiences with the U.S. Border Patrol. 
hopefully our luck continues. So far, two different countries, two border crossings. Oh no, there's a red light. We got it, we stopped, we stopped. You know, they got some, you got those red lights that kind of sneak up on you, like the yellows that just turn too fast. Hmm. It's no, they're no good when you're towing an RV. Anyways, we are two for two on good border crossing experiences, so let's make it three for three today. We're about to be crossing Peace Bridge, and I was pretty excited because in my research, I found some information about the lane configuration, and RVs are supposed to use lane one. So that's one thing we don't have to figure out while crossing the bridge. I was well marked. Yes, and hopefully it's, the information I found is accurate. So there's still room for air, but we're a little more prepared. <laughs> Okay, uh, so many signs going on. Yeah. Buffalo, USA. Oh, that was the last exit before the USA, but we want to go to the USA, so. Oh gosh. Okay, Q E W N, reduce speed. I guess this means it's like Canada's roads are ending. We're about hmm. to cross it on there's, the US roads. There's their border crossing in. Yeah, oh, there's the border. Yep, there's the border crossing for Canada. Right there. Right lane in. Oh, much gosh. traffic yeah. I'm not, oh, I'm just, <laughs> just as we came around the corner, you could see everything. Goodness. Okay. Oh, they all funnel us into this one little lane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Leland? Shh. Now, online, lane oh. one for RVs was all the way on the right, so. That one's closed. Well, the right's on that side. Oh, <laughs> Again? <laughs> What's going on with me? My left and right. <laughs> Don't ask Craig about his left and right in stressful situations because yeah. he's getting it wrong every I time. I say whatever pops in my head first, I guess. <laughs> he ain't gonna tell me no different. This is Peace Bridge. Um, I don't know why it's called that. I don't know if this little section underneath the bridge is called Peace River or they just call it Peace Bridge or maybe there's some peace between Canada and the USA. I don't know, but stuff up that here. car was trying to push me into the guardrail. Why yeah. is that RV in that way? Well, maybe they don't know about the lane one. <laughs> There's another RV in front of them. I don't know. Definitely some traffic getting back into the USA. So this is Buffalo that we're crossing over into, Buffalo, New York. And it looks like kind of a big city over there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we're not having to drive through that. I hope not. Oh my, oh my goodness, gosh. that would be stressful. That would be stressful. What's that little house? out there a lot of house. on the oh. no like oh no <laughs> like a little hut in the middle of the lake don't forget you gotta take your sunglasses when you pull up i ain't doing so it so you can see your eyes i ain't doing it they're just trying to take my soul and then the other one says all trucks next right that seems so maybe we just keep going straight i don't know if we're gonna be able to i swear that it's just not telling us yeah I agree. All it said is open. Oh, there's Well, we just don't keep right. We go straight. I think that that's another extra one. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, all trucks keep right. We don't keep right. Okay, yes, it looks like our lane kind of splits into two and we stay straight on it. Hmm. There's another RV up here. We see another RV. Yeah. There. Well, what do we do? How do we get over uh -huh. there? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They're just not telling us. Maybe. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh no! Yikes. Okay, Boy. let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, what it is is we're merging. We're merging. Okay, so somebody's gonna have to let us over. Yeah. I don't know where we go. Um, I think that we should get. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna have to like just go straight. That we gotta, that car we we're in this lane. Yeah. We gotta stay. That car doesn't want us to go. They're trying to get in front. We we have to stay on but the I left can of get that behind green that side. SUV right there. But, but that's where the truck. That's where the that truck with the RV I think is trying to go. Or is he trying to go in the one next to him? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. We'll be blocking the whole thing anyway, so I think we should wait until it kind of levels But well, now out. we're blocking. <laughs> we're blocking the trucks, but okay, see, I told you he's trying to go there, and we need to try to just go right behind him. Hello, but dude. watch out for this car because they do not want <laughs> to be. Okay. <sighs> well, 
we're talking nonsense. But the gist of it is that there's a lot of people here and a lot of lanes and we're all trying to get in the same ones. Yeah, <laughs> they don't really give you any direction until it's kind of too late. So, yeah. and then you're trying to cut over in front of other people. It's weird. And you have to like uh, veer off to the left, but now like we're blocking any trucks behind us from being able to get past, but there's nothing we yeah. can do because we have to, we can't go to the right. All the only trucks are allowed to the right. We have to stay to the left. So one point for Canada on their border crossing so yeah. far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be behind this car with the bikes. I kind of feel like they might be with the RV. I can't tell if they're being towed or if there's someone in there. No, drive. they're not being towed. I can uh, see the oh, bitch okay. on the RV. It's no triple towing. Can you imagine triple towing through the border? That ain't a nightmare. This is that sign that splits the autos, buses, and RVs to the left and trucks to the right. It doesn't clarify which side the RV should be on, but I can kind of see way off in the distance on the very right-hand side, which is what we thought. It says cars, RVs, and buses. So I think we just need to stay to the right, which I think is our only option because there's there is no some way. There are some cones too that line the way. Yeah, so I think we just stay as far right as we can and we should be good. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Not that we could get over if, no. we, need, if we need to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's multiple lanes for cars and RVs and buses because it's hard to tell. Like there's, we're using two lanes right now. <laughs> And there's this guy in an RV beside us, and I don't know if he needs to get over in front of us, but... I don't know. Maybe he knows something we don't. Pop quiz. Where are we going? I have no idea. <laughs> I do not remember Winchester Falls. Is that uh, no. I just made that up. You just... Yeah, you made that up. <laughs> Letchworth State Park. Oh, I was close. <laughs> Letchworth State Park. I will say this border crossing is much, much slower than... Canada border Not crossing. slower than the Mexico one. What? Oh, coming back? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, coming from Mexico to the U.S.? That was awful. Hours. Yeah. Pretty bad. However, it wasn't a slight downhill grade, so this That's is true. kind of annoying. You got to really hold your brake pretty hard the whole time. All right, we have confirmed that we were supposed to be all the way to the right, and they do split off the like RVs and buses and trailers off to the right. So if you're coming over the Peace Bridge, best to just go ahead and be in the right-hand lane. Yeah, I don't know what this guy over here is on day that's in the wrong lane. We, it looks like we're going to a totally different little section that I guess is taller, it looks like. Yeah. And probably so they can search you. Yeah. We're getting pretty close now, though. Here we here go. Here we go. Let's hope we don't hit. Here we go. So many cameras. You're gonna see my plants. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Getting the passports ready. Oh yes. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. Yourselves? Not bad. Good. What are your citizenships? Uh, US. US. All right, let me see your passports. Yep. Right here. What's the license plate on the truck, starting with the state? Uh, Florida, it will be... Do either of you have anything to declare today? No. No. No alcohol, no tobacco, no food? No. Nope. Well, we have some food, but... Oh. We have some food, but it's from the U.S. All right, do you know the license plate on your trailer? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, just kidding. Goodbye. Have a Thank nice you. day. I Thank appreciate you. It. All right. We did it. We did it. I, and I do think they were more friendly, actually. Like you could tell he was being kind of stern, but yeah, serious. Kind of but work. he wasn't like this. Yeah. I, I, think... I I I agree. So so if you saw our last video, a lot of people mentioned that they they got border patrol agent was just doing his job, which I totally agree with. The part that was funny is the part that we couldn't get on camera, and it was just the expression on his face. So that went pretty smoothly. Um, I think overall, good. He yeah. he didn't even ask us if we had guns or drugs. He did ask if we had anything to declare, and we said no. And we might have should have said yes because we have some of the food and stuff, but... Uh, I don't know what you have to declare. Right? Well, you're supposed to declare food. But our, all our food came from the U.S. Not It's not from Canada, so I just... I thought nope. like it was fine. Our creamer did not. We had to get coffee creamer. Oh, it's true. Pre-packaged coffee creamer. And it's in French, partly. Yes. That was a fun thing about Canada. Everything was in English and French. It is unique because, like, in the U.S., like, you know... A lot of times it'll be the English word and Spanish word. Oh my goodness, what? these bridges seem low. But anyways, when you go to Canada, it's English and French, which is interesting. So overall, 
three for three on smooth border crossings for us this year. I don't know if we just have friendly faces or what, but so far, nobody's given us too much trouble. Yep, I think uh, Canada border has a point for directing you in. Yes, much easier. But US gets the point for being a little bit more friendly. And now we're just driving through Buffalo, New York. Craig's not even freaking out because he didn't have time to get nervous about driving through this big old city. Well, I hope it don't get too bad. The traffic isn't too bad right now. But and we have wow. a new RV. I ain't worried about it. something just falling, falling off. off. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh my gosh, these bridges look kind of low. Oh. What? How, what? Oh, hey, there was no height listed. <laughs> there was no height listed. Garmin, wow. you better. Better be right. I don't even know. You better be steering us right. With the new RV, but I do think the old one was a little. I I did adjust it. A little taller. But yeah. these low bridges are giving me anxiety. Now we're headed to our overnight spot, and it's a bit of an unusual spot for an overnighter. If I'm going to be honest, it's a little south of Buffalo, New York, and so put your guesses in the comments on what type of place you think that we're about to be spending the night at tonight. So it's either gonna be really sketchy or the perfect spot, but you're gonna have to click the subscribe button and watch next week's video to see where we stay and how it goes. Thanks for joining us as we have crossed back into America. And watch these videos if you wanna catch up on our Canadian RV life adventures.